Hey everyone, welcome to MJS Coaching Football. Coach Sullivan here with you. I just completed my 39th year coaching. I was a defensive coordinator, and I hope your season was as successful as ours was here in 2021. In this presentation, I want to talk to you about one of our what we call jailbreak concepts in our 3 4. So it's called Spider Bob. Okay. So over here, I'll go through with you the key terms in order so you can better understand what a jailbreak concept is, how we accomplish it, and then how we get all five defenders to execute it properly, okay? And then here, I'll diagram it for you and bring it to life so, you again, you can better understand the jailbreak concept that we call spider bot, okay? So the first key term is the front itself. We use our base, uh, what we call 58 up pressure package front. So, you know, in our third down pass situation pressure front playlist, you know, I have an introduction. I go through the, the foundation of it, which is our 58 up. Okay, so we're covering all five offensive linemen on the line of scrimmage. Okay, so you have to go to that playlist in order to better understand it. But our two inside linebackers stay in a two-point stance, and our three defensive linemen are in their three-point stances. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that much. So then the second one is how do we determine the lucky ring, or in other words, the blitz call, right? So Spider Bob is an automatic ring goal because Bob is on the left. So the, to determine... Which side executes the spider and which side executes the bob and what side the nose goes with, okay? It's based upon the plug blitz. So the plug blitz in this case is a bob, all right? And since the backer is always on the left, that's why the spider is determined to be on the right. Hence, it's a ringle call, okay? And so when I get to the diagram, I'll show you how it's a prisoner game as i'll get to in due time here and how the key in a three four when you package two separate concepts together so it's a prisoner game as you'll learn shortly and a plug blitz not putting the nose in conflict since the nose is part of both sides right in the three four okay so since the bob is left, the spider's on the right. Therefore, it's a ringo to the side of the prisoner game. That's how we determine it. Okay? So then number three, what is a jailbreak concept? As I just mentioned, we combine a prisoner game with a plug. So I have a prisoner game playlist. I have a plug family blitz playlist. Now, at subscribers, you'll have to push that button. Okay? So then number four here, the spider game is the mic and the stud. Okay, Mike and the studs on the right. They read the offensive tackle, as I'll show you. The mic goes first, stabbing B gap. The stud technically goes second. So what happens is if the uh, offensive tackle is facing the stud, the mic's going to work to outside cage because the stud is going to work inside the uh, A gap. If the offensive tackle faces the mic, he's going to continue in the B gap because the stud is now going to speed rush the C gap and he'll have outside cage. Right? Makes sense? So <clears throat> we call it butt side. Pretty simple. If his butt's facing you, you got outside cage. All right? And I'll show that to you shortly. And then the nose, the backer, and the end execute the bar. And again, remember what I just said. We combine a prisoner and a plug that does not put the nose in conflict. So when I get to the diagram, what the nose does here is the exact same thing for both the spider and the bob as you learn so before i get to the diagram as the coach you got to go through your drill inventory and carefully mix and match two separate concepts that in the three four does not put your nose in conflict so he does the same thing on both calls okay so here we go 
So we'll get to the uh, spider first. So it's Ringo because the back is on the left. Bob, spider Bob. They're both reading the tackle. So on the snap of the football, the tackle's working out to block the stud, which is what we usually get, right? Remember the big part of this is how you impact protection. We usually get man. So we know he's either blocking out on the stud or he's going to full protect, most likely, blocking toward the mic. So it's one or the other. Okay? So we just tell him, rush up field, unless. Okay? So in this case, rush up field, unless he's facing you. Now you're in the A gap. Rush up field. Now work outside because his butt's facing you. Okay? And then just reverse it. If it was this way, he'd try to beat him upfield, and now, okay, butt side, he's going to stay outside. All right, so I'm hoping that makes sense. We're going to assume that in the man protection, that's what we're getting. Big on big. Guards got the linebacker, tackles have the DN, centers on an island with the nose. So that would mean as he stabs B, he works for outside cages. He steps up field, sees the tackles to him, he's going to loop into A gap. And he should be free. Right? He should be free. So now, takes care of the spider on the bob. What the nose does is he steps A gap to the backer. Bob, backer, plug into B-gap. So he just races up the field into B-gap. And the defensive end on that side is C-gap. Guess what the nose does and the defensive end does on Spider? The same thing. They're executing their read game on the tackle. He's A-gap away from the call. He's C-gap away from the call. So that is the four-man prisoner game known as Spider, and this is what they do on Bob. Combine them together, right? Nobody's in conflict. It's a beautiful thing. And so a big part of our 58-up pressure package, right, is the sim look, and now we're bringing all five, okay, in our jailbreak concepts. They'll sing prisoner game and a plug, right? It's a jailbreak. How do you stop it? That's why we call it jailbreak, prisoner plug, in case you're wondering. So as I said at the beginning, thank you for watching MJS Coaching Football. For anyone with questions, please reach out to me at coachmjsullivan at gmail.com because I would love to talk football.